in an era in which we are questioning the effectiveness of markets in producing the kind of society and economy we want to live in, it is more important than ever to have an objective debate about the role that markets and the state play in the economy. Is the state necessary only to correct market failures, or is it also needed to more actively shape and create markets and technological opportunities, and to promote growth which is not only smart, but also inclusive? Well, uh, there's a lot of debate, of course, on what is the appropriate role of the state these days. Some people say the welfare functions have to be reduced. Uh, some people say there should be more finan financial regulation. Uh, some argue that there should be more or less uh, industrial policy and so on. But uh, behind all this debate, I think uh, one uh, important thing uh, we have to remember is that there is no scientifically defined boundary of the market. Now, this might come as a surprise to some people because uh, economists have been very good at arguing that, sorry, convincing other people that uh, they know where the boundary of the market should be. But in the end, this uh, political position, you know, including my own position, it is political because what it is is. Uh, all markets are in the end propped up by a range of regulations on who can participate, what can be traded, how the process of exchanges are regulated and so on. And uh, there's no economic theory that will tell you that this is the optimal arrangement and this is at, uh, where market should end and the state should begin. Now, a very good proof of uh, how things are in this regard is uh, the fact that capitalism has many varieties. You know, we, we think uh, every capitalist uh, country works uh, the same way, but American capitalism is very different from the Japanese one, which is very different from the Scandinavian one, which is very different from the French one, which is quite different from the German one, and so on. And uh, this shows that depending on where you politically and even ethically decide to draw the boundary around the market, you can have many different types of arrangements. And only when we recognize this uh, very important but ignored point, we can have a reasoned debate about the role of the state, because uh, people often try to, both on the left and on the right, uh, both uh, uh, try to convince uh, the audience, uh, if not necessarily the uh, opponents in the debate that uh, they know what they are talking about, that they know the right answer, but actually the answer has to uh, be seen in the light of uh, the prevailing political consensus and moral, accepted moral values of the society at the time. And uh, this is why I uh, strongly believe in a democratic uh, society in the end, because, you know, I mean, in the recent period, uh, attempts have been made by the uh, European Union and uh, the IMF and so on to impose uh, so-called technocratic governments on countries like Greece and Italy, which is uh, uh, totally unacceptable. You know, I mean, th this uh, the exercise assumes that at least uh, there is some economic truth, and there are some people who have exclusive access uh, to this economic truth, uh, like the technocrats. And uh, these people should be running the society. And I think it's uh, the completely wrong approach, not just because of moral unacceptability of uh, you know, people imposing governments from outside on a democratic country, but more importantly, from my point of view, that there cannot be such a thing as technocracy. Hmm? It was all economic policy, all the system of, uh, sorry, the all economic system are in the end political. I mean, there's uh, nothing, uh, sorry, there's uh, no such a thing as a scientifically defined technocratic solution to any of the economic problem. Now, this is uh, the, uh, bad news and uh, good news. Uh, it's a uh, bad news in the sense that you know, despite uh, this uh, reality, we keep uh, uh, seeing uh, the rich and the powerful trying to impose the solutions they like 
selling those solutions as scientific solution to our problems. So, I mean, that sometimes you despair that uh, you know these people can just pass off their political view as uh, some kind of objective truth. But on the other hand, I think that uh, this whole debate actually gives uh, some hope uh, to our future because now we know through this debate, I mean, the, the, a lot of people might have thought economics and politics can be separated maybe during the boom years when you know, they were also doing financially well and property prices were rising. Now the choices have become very stark and now people begin to see that actually economics and politics cannot be separated and hopefully this uh, should uh, lead to a uh, more broad-based uh, political mobilization uh, in Europe and elsewhere which will uh, hopefully create a better society.